Hi everyone, my name is Tyler and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you five different slang words that we use in American English. Um, these words are very common and I believe these are very important to learn um, because although you may not find them in a dictionary or in school, they are used um, a lot. So the first word we're gonna start with is flex. So obviously the actual meaning of this is to flex, like flex a muscle. But in this case, it means to brag or call attention to yourself. For example, if I am a good soccer player and I see a girl I like, I'll make sure to really perform well in front of her to impress her. We would call that flexing. Um, another example would be to show a lot of cash or your nice car, whatever it may be, you're trying to brag or impress, flex. The next one is bougie. And bougie means having expensive taste or to be fancy and extravagant. So for example, you may hear someone call another person bougie if they only like the best of the best, the most expensive cars, most expensive clothes, they only go to the nicest restaurants, you could say that person is bougie. They like very extravagant, expensive, fancy things. The third word is ripped. Now, the actual meaning of this, obviously, rip, to rip a paper, but it's also used to describe somebody who is very muscular or in very good physical shape. So for example, um, you could say, did you see Mark Wahlberg in his new movie? He was ripped or he is ripped. He's in really good shape. He has a six pack, big muscles, ripped. The fourth word, very basic one, very commonly used, nuts. And nuts is just a synonym for crazy, something crazy or unbelievable. So I could say the party last night was nuts. I didn't get home until nine in the morning. It was crazy, unbelievable. It was nuts. And the last one is cringy. So this obviously comes from the word cringe. And cringy means is used to describe something that causes feelings of embarrassment or awkwardness. So anything that makes you want to just look away. So I could say looking at my high school yearbook is cringy or watching my friend approach women in the bar is cringy because it's embarrassing. These are the only five words I have today. Um, I hope these are useful and that you guys learned something. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, comment, and let me know if there's anything you would like me to teach in the future. Thank you.